Hey everyone, how's it going today? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use SQLite 3 with Node.js in an asynchronous manner by using async and await. If you're not familiar with async and await, that's okay, I'll explain it during the video. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your terminal, type npm i sqlite3 space aa-sqlite. Create a new file here, we're going to call this test.db. It's going to be our database file where we store things another file called app.js. It's going to be where all of our code resides. First thing we want to do is say const sqlite equals require and we're going to bring in aasqlite. That just stands for async await. So it's an asynchronous way to use it. So first we need an asynchronous function. Let's just call it test. Let's be sure to call it too. All right, so the way that asynchronous functions work is once we call it, the whole function is going to be asynchronous. So if we console log test here, this test can actually run before something inside of the asynchronous function. But the beauty of it is we can await things. So what we can do inside of this is say something like try catch. This way we can catch the error. Just a little bit of error handling. We'll say console dot error error and let's return that now what we're going to try to do here is we're going to say await sqlite dot open test dot db very end what we're going to do is we're going to close this so sqlite dot close it's always a good idea to close your database i don't always do it in these little videos because it's not a real project but it's good, you don't want to have a bunch of open database connections. So this should be opening our database. Let's say node app.js. Okay, it didn't give us an error, so we're just gonna assume that that's working. We're gonna make another try catch here. Again, we're going to return a console error with that error message. And what we're gonna say here is sqlite.run create table test. It'll have one column in it. We'll call that column test run it no problem now if we run it again we should get an error perfect we got an error that's exactly what we want because this table test already exists right and that's what it says so our error handling is working that's awesome let's change this to an insert statement insert into test test values and we're going to pass in, just pass in a simple integer, run it a couple times. Now let's look at this. So if we console log here, done, we'll know that if we put a wait before this, this done won't run until after all of this code runs. You'll see here, test actually ran first, which is interesting, right? Because it's technically after it, so you wouldn't expect it to run first. That's just the way that async await works, returning this function to an asynchronous function, and then inside of it, we're awaiting this. So that's to be expected. I'm going to add a couple more in here, a five, a seven. Okay, that should be enough test data for us. Now, the real beauty of this is that we can set a value equal to something. So we can do a select statement here. So let's say sqlite.all select all from test. And we could say something like const rows equals console log the rows here. And look at that we have our rows being console log using async await with sqlite that's going to be it for this video i just wanted to show how to do this because some people asked hopefully you found this helpful if you did leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more content just like this hit that subscribe button i hope you have a great day take it easy